talking about celibacy and abstinence is very important. Here, you will be able to know kung bakit meron taong celibate at meron taong nag abstain We will define what celibacy means and we will define what abstinence mean. All right? Kung meron kayong tanong, ay itanong nyo na. Okay, so let me share this uh, PowerPoint. Very important. Now, sabi nila ay, anong sabi nila? <laughs> Ang sabi dito eh, may pag-aaral daw. Mm -mm. May pag-aaral. Alin? Ang pag-aaral dito, ginawa sa Queen's University in Belfast, Ireland. They found that sex on a regular basis is not only healthy for our bodies, but also improves our overall length of life. Okay? Yan ang una kong masasabi. Okay? For couples, sa mga mag-asawa, sabi nila, do kailangan mag-make love, correct. And you have to do that always and regularly para humaba ang buhay. At yan ay pinag-alalan sa Ireland. So, yung pag-aaral na yun was published in 1997 in the British Medical Journal and track the mortality of about 1,000 middle-aged men over the course of a decade. So the study compared men of comparable age and health and found that men who had the highest frequency of orgasm had a death rate half that of the other men who did not orgasm frequently. Ibig sabihin, hala dito, dok, orgasm. Nang men, yes, that's the time they ejaculate. Ano pang tawag mo doon? Okay? It's called male ejaculation. Mm. Meron din pag-aaral that ang mga kalalakihan dapat daw ay mag-ejaculate 21 times in a month. Pag-aaral po yan. Wala pong bastos dyan, ha? Okay? So, 21 times, ibig sabihin, that could be they, when they make love, when they have uh, night dreams and they ejaculate, or when they masturbate. So, ang total noon is 21 times. Alright? So, ang aral nga dito at napublish sa British Medical Journal na pag mas regular, ang pagtatalik ni kuya ay mas hahaba ang buhay. Okay na. Pero hindi pa yun ang topic ngayon. Sorry po. Sorry, hindi pa yun ang topic. Dahil ang topic natin ay tungkol sa celibacy versus abstinence. Celibacy versus abstinence. Now, e ano yung abstinence? Ano yung celibacy? So abstinence refer to the avoidance of sexual intercourse. It can be by active choice or as a matter or circumstance. Ibig sabihin, ibig sabihin, ayoko eh, eh di salibit ka. Okay? Choice mo yan eh, correct? Mm. Now, so celibacy is what you call a long-term abstinence. Wala ka talagang making love, okay? So sino sila? Okay, some choose celibacy for religious or moral reasons. Okay? Diyan papasok na yung madre, yung pare, okay? Now, Ang iba naman, they choose celibacy out of a desire to avoid becoming pregnant. Nakuha na, okay? To avoid becoming pregnant or developing a sexually transmitted infection. Naintindihan, okay? Akala ninyo eh, celibate yung mga pari man lang yan, tita, doc. No, it's not. Okay? It is an avoidance of sexual intercourse. Kung celibate ka na ilang taon ka na celibate, hindi ka pari ah, pero ila, ayaw mo talaga eh, di ba? Well, pwede, ayaw mo kasi mabuntis. Wala ka naman asawa, correct? Or ayaw mo lang magkaroon ng STD. Okay na. Okay, now. So, let's talk about celibacy. 
celibacy. Okay, tatingnan natin dito muna yung nagte-text. Sige lang, makinig lang man po. Mm -mm. Dim na de la Cruz Balion. Oo, oh, hello talaga, hello. Celibacy. Celibacy is not just a matter of not having sex. It is a way of admiring a person for their humanity. Maybe even for their beauty. Basahin nyo ulit. Screenshot nyo na yan. Okay? Importante po alam ninyo yung kinikwento ni Tita Dok ha. Hindi yung nakikilig ka lang dyan. Intindihin po yung sinasabi ko. Importante po yan. Okay. Now. So, celibacy po is abstinence from all forms of sexual intercourse. Alright? Walang masturbation dyan. Nothing. Okay? In the Catholic Church, two types of people are called to celibacy. The unmarried and those who have taken religious vows. Alright? Now. Blessed are the pure of heart, for they will see God. Ayang premarital sex na yan and cohabitation before marriage are seen as grave offenses against the dignity of marriage. Ang problem po, mga ating kuyang, ang premarital sex po sa Pilipinas ay hindi po bumababa ang isa testex. Pataas ng pataas ng pataas. Okay? Kung may premarital sex, di yung teenage pregnancy ay pataas rin ng pataas ng pataas. Okay? So, kung nagpi-premarital sex ka, it can weaken fidelity and undermine the value and the nature of the family. The celibate. Sino ulit yung celibate? A person who remains unmarried, especially for religious reasons. Ayan, pasok na yung pari at madre. Okay? Pag celibate ka, it is a person who abstain from sexual relation. For example, nabiuda ka. Ayaw mo na. Okay? Nabiudo ka. Ayaw mo na rin, kuya. Ayaw mo lang kasi ayaw mabuntis. Wala ka asawa. Hindi ka na biuda, hindi ka na biudo, wala ka lang asawa nga eh. Hindi ka naman madre, hindi ka din pare. Ayaw mo lang mabuntis at ayaw mo lang magkaroon ng STD. Pag-celebrate ka. Pag-celebrate is a long time na ikaw ay nag-a-abstain. Okay? Nakuha na. Okay? All right. Anong benefits naman, Tita Dok, pag-celebrate? Anong benefits niyan? Siyempre, kung pari ka, madre ka, meron kang religious or moral belief, yun yung benefit. Eh, tumigil ka, may, meron kang belief eh. Or, celebrate ka kasi you are waiting for the appropriate person. So, you want to be a virgin. Nakuha na. Can you stop being celibate? Yeah, I'm not talking about pare or madre, ha? Okay? I'm not talking about that. Ang sinasabi ko, you are just waiting for the appropriate person. Sa gusto mo, virgin ka. Okay. Now, ano pa? Ano pang benefit ng celibacy? You learn about other aspects of self. Okay? Ano pa? Celibate ka because of health consideration. Eh, baka may cancer ka. Ayaw mo na mag-make love. Ay, yun lang yun. Okay? Understand? What else? Okay. Benefit of celibacy during substance abuse recovery. So, kung ikaw ay drug addict, kailangan celibate ka. Tumigil ka muna. Dapat matagal ang abstinence mo. Naintindihan? So, let's talk about abstinence. Tapos yung celibacy, ha? Ah? Let's talk about abstinence. So, what is it? What is abstinence? Okay? It's when you 
do not have any form of sexual activity. Pero hindi siya forever. Tumigil ka lang maybe one week, one month, ngayong Holy Week, ayaw. One month, one year, ewan ko, biuda ka, ayaw mo pa. Okay? So, nang ka-abstain ka. It is a self-enforced restraint from indulging in bodily activities that are widely experienced as giving pleasure. Alright? So the term refers to sexual abstinence or abstinence from alcohol or food. Ayan na. So, abstinence, hindi lang naman sex yung topic ko dito eh. Pwede ka naman mag-abstain sa alak. Pwede ka rin mag-abstain sa food. Pwede ka din mag-abstain sa drugs. Eh, utak nyo kasi, eh, yung tita doc, sex lang ang topic. Ha, ano ba kayo? Okay? Mindset, mag-isip-isip naman po. Eh, hindi po ko yung bastos, kayo po yun. Kaya nga dinidiretso ko yung information natin para alam niyo po kung ano yung tama o mali. Okay? So, abstinence doesn't have to be torture. Sabi nila, ay, tita doc, hindi ko kaya yan. Okay. Hindi po torture yan. It does not speak negatively about you. Kunyari, biudo ka, biuda ka, nag-abstinence ka. Ha? Hindi torture yan. Hindi negative yan sa sarili mo. Hello? It proves you know your worth. Biuda ako, tita doc, ayoko na ng sex. Ay, very good. Di ba? Alam mo yung worth mo. Eh, paano kung may lubigaw sa'yo, te? Kuya, may nakita kang bagong partner. Oh, paano? Eh, di na po ako magpa-practice na abstinence. Tama, okay? Nag-asawa ka eh. Alam mo naman, nag-asawa ka. You have the capacity to make love. Eh, di stop abstinence. Pero kung ayaw mo talaga, eh, di, ayan na. It will prove to yourself, yung worth mo, worth, yung value mo sa sarili mo. Ano ka? Ako naman, oo. Okay? Eto na. Hello, Patrick Saburit. Yes, we have a very young viewer here. Very young, Patrick. Information lang yung celibacy and abstinence. I'm not talking about you, pero kailangan al alam natin kung ano yung definition ng abstinence. All right now. Abstinence is often referred to as being 100% safe, meaning that it is completely, you know, eliminate the risk of STD or ayo mabuntis. Okay? This is only true if the definition includes eliminating any intimate sexual behavior involving the skin to genital, genital to genital or body fluid to genital contact. Okay? Yang pagbubuntis po can occur even without intercourse. I repeat, pregnancy can occur without intercourse if sperm is ejaculated near the entrance of the vagina or on an area that comes into contact with the vagina. Hello, Tito Doc, pwede ba yun? Yes! Kasi kung fertile ang babae, kung fertile, kahit na walang penetration at nadikit lamang yung ejaculates sa entrada ng vagina, pwede pong mag-travel yung sperm through the fluid ng babae. Kasi pag fertile po ang babae, yung pong discharge niya ay malauhog o malasipon. Naintindihan. Okay? So, Tawa-tawa kayo. Eh, tita Dok, hindi ganun yan. Kailangan may penetration. Eh, ito nga. Eh, tinuturuan ko nga kayo. Okay? Now, yun namang STD, such as herpes or genital wart, kulugo, can be passed through skin-to-skin -skin genital contact. So, kailangan may abstinence. Kuya, ate, Kung meron kang herpes, kung meron kang kulugo, o yung kulugo, hindi lang po yung kulugo sa buka. May nagsabi, tita, dok, ano na naman? 
yung kulugoy yung sa mukha, nagpunta ko ng derma, pinasunog-sunog ko siya. Ah, yun lang alam mong kulugo. Okay? Meron din pong gulugo dyan sa ibaba. It's called genital warts. Okay? At sinusunog-sunog din yan dapat ng, ng inyong mga OB, GYN. Ha? Okay? So, kailangan mong mag-abstain. Kung hindi ka naman pare at ikaw nag-make love, hindi ka, hindi ka naman madre, tapos mag-abstain ka mo na patanggal mo mo na yan gulugo mo. Mga to. At kung may herpes ka sa baba, kaya ano mo nang matuyo yan? Nakakahawa po yun. Hindi ka natatakot? Yung pong kulugo ay highly contagious. Madikit lang yan doon sa kabilang skin. May kulugo na rin yung partner mo. Sige, tawa-tawa pa. Sige, kung may kulugo ka, kulugo ka ikis-kis mo yan sa partner mo, magkakakulugo yan. Abstain! 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 Ano pa? What is abstinence? If two people don't have sex, then sperm cannot fertilize an egg and there is no possibility of a pregnancy. Tama? Tama. Okay. So some forms of birth control depend on barriers that prevent the sperm from reaching the egg. May condo, may diaphragm, okay? The others interfere with the menstrual cycle. Kasi may birth control pills, iba? Pero with abstinence, no barriers or pills are necessary because the person is not having sex. Period. Mag-abstain ka, ate, kuya, ha? Naintindihan. Okay. You don't have to be a virgin to practice abstinence. May sabi ka, ay, yung mga virgin lang yan, tita, doc. No, it's not. Okay? Sometimes people who have been, try, who have, who have been having sex decide not to continue having sex. May ganun. Pwedeng nabiuda, nabiudo, or nagkasakit yung partner. Ah, wala nang sex, ba? Okay? So even if a person has been having sex, he or she can still choose abstinence to prevent pregnancy and STD in the future. Now you know what abstinence is. Clear na ha? Clear na yan. Okay? So, may mga abstinence skills. Again, abstinence is the act of refraining from or not having sex. Abstinence skills can include setting clear limits, communicating your limits, avoiding high-pressure situations, and asserting yourself. Yan ang tinatawag na abstinence skills. Ano pa? Eto na. Paano ba gagawin ito? Abstinence for a celibate. Okay. I repeat. Abstinence for a celibate. Di ba pag sinasabi kong celibate, eh talagang forever wala kang sex. Okay? Pero pwede kang mag-abstain. So, abstinence for a celibate, ganito. Pag matagal ka na nag-abstain, pwede ka maging celibate. Pero this is what you will do. Para tuloy-tuloy kang maging celibate. Okay? In order to be a celibate, one should abstain from the following. Number one, do not look at a woman or a man with lust. Do not touch a woman or a man with an idea of sex in mind. Number three, do not freely indulge in play and sports with women or men. Number four, do not indulge in talking about their beauty, about their handsomeness, or listening to such talk. Number five, do not sit in a solitary place with a woman or man. Kasi matitem ka ate kuya. Ha. Number six, do not think of a woman or man with a lustful idea. 
Marami pong demonyong pumapasok sa utak. Nakaw. Hindi ka magiging celebrate. Remember, meron din pong mga pare na naging lumalabas na sa pagkapare dahil hindi na po nakatiis. Wala po akong pinapatamaan. Sinasabi ko lang po na nangyayari po yun. Okay? Number seven. Do not even think of sexual intercourse with a woman or a man. Not to speak of actually having it. Okay? So that's an abstinence for a celibate. Now, what else can I tell you? Ano yung emotional benefit pag nag abstain ka? Meron, okay? Pag nag abstain ka, hindi ka magkakaroon ng STD. Hindi ka din mabubuntis. Ano ka pa? Eh, hindi ka nga nag-make love eh. Okay? Next, you allow time to develop the maturity to make important decisions. Kaya ngayon sinasabi na pre-marital sex, ah, walang mangyayari dyan. Hindi ka makaka-abstain yan. At mas lalo hindi ka pwede maging celebrate. Kasi po, yung mga nagpi-pre-marital sex, sigurado na bubuntis. Teenage pregnancy. At itong mga kabataan, pag nabuntis, ay nabubuntis ulit. Alam niyo ba yan? Yung mga teenage pregnancy, once nabuntis sila, dapat ma-educate ka agad as soon as possible. Kasi ang tendency niyan, mabubuntis po ulit yan eh. Walang maturity yung utak. Okay? Now, ano pa ang emotional benefit pag nag-abstain ka? You avoid being manipulated by others. Okay? Number four, you have an increased sense of self-control and self-respect. Self-control and self-respect pag pinapractice mo ang abstinence. Okay? Ano pa? You stay true to your value. The more you will have a value. Ang problema, nasa peer group ka, inuman, bar, drugs, makakalimutan mo na yan, abstinence na yan. Open wide na ang, ang utak mo sa sex. Right? Yes. Okay, now. Okay. I will talk to my two friends here. Yung isa classmate ko po, si Dr. Elizabeth Shotapawan. And of course, ang aking kaibigan na wellness guru, Dr. Ray Chavez. Pag-usapan natin yung benefits ng sexual abstinence and celibacy at kung ano yun kanilang masasabi. Okay? Just a minute. All right. I will let them enter now. Ad admit ko na lang kayong dalawa, ha? Okay. All right. Magandang gabi, Dr. Elizabeth and uh, Dr. Ray Echavez. Okay, just a minute. Tayo ay mag unmute lamang. Okay, importante ma-unmute. Yan. Magandang gabi po ulit sa inyong dalawang doktor. Hi! Pwede na, na mag-unmute, Dr. Elizabeth. Pwede na po. Okay. You can click the unmute. Doc Ray, can you, hear, can you join me now? Hi, Dr. Elizabeth. Yeah, yeah dito lang kanina pa ako. Okay. Yes, nasa background lang kayo. Okay. Dr. Elizabeth, uh, you can put your uh, microphone so we can hear you. and un Unmute mo siya. Nakamute eh. Mm -mm. Sige, habang inaantay natin. Nakalive tayo eh. Di ba? Ayan. All right. Oh, there you I go. Okay. Yeah. So, napakinggan po ninyo ang aking short PowerPoint. Yes? Yes. Okay. Very important. Just a minute. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, Dr. Elizabeth is from, saan galing ikaw? Balik bayan na siya, Dr. Ray. Can you tell me first kung saan ka galing? 
Dr. Elizabeth. San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio, Texas. Wow. Okay. Doc Ray, nakapunta ka na ba sa Texas? Um, yeah. Yeah. Or Dallas. Oh. Or Dallas lang. Okay. Uh, sa, saan si Elizabeth? Saan sa, sa Texas? San Antonio po. Ah, San Antonio. Uh, yeah. Doon nag, do nagbubuk, do nagbubuksing si... Pakyao, sige. Ganun ba? Oh, doon, doon siya nagsimula. Eh. Doon siya nagsimula. Uh, yeah, okay. Right, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let me talk first with Dr. Elizabeth. She is my classmate sa UERM Memorial Medical Center. Okay? And nandito siya for how many weeks ka nandito sa Pilipinas? Uh, three weeks. Three weeks. So, yes. hanggang kailan yun? Hanggang uh, sa 20th. No, 19th. Right. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I came yeah. for the Holy Week. Very good. Ay, ano makikita tayo kasi ang hirap lumabas, di ba? <laughs> anyway, uh, you've heard of our topic, okay? Ano yung masasabi yeah. mo about celibacy and abstinence? I'll give well, you the floor. Okay. Well, celibacy is, uh, you know, you, I, for me personally, is uh, you have committed, uh, it's really spiritual, it's more of a, Uh, you've committed your your body not to to have sexual relation probably until you have marriage. It's a it's a you know it's the it's the, it's a decision that you have to make, and uh, you uh, and with abstinence uh, it can be involuntary or um, you know it could be three weeks uh, or or three months, you know, it depends on the situation or the circumstances. But uh, for me, it's um, it's really, basically, you have to know what your purpose, why why you're abstaining, you know, your, why, uh, why, um, why you're doing it. So I think that's, for me, that's the main thing. And then you have to be self-aware of, of your yourself your body you know and then then what do you do with that and so how do you counter uh of course urges are natural you know so i remember one of our psychiatric uh, uh attending you know uh, lecturer um he said uh, um he He abstain or because he doesn't want to to um, to be cheating on his wife or something, so he he uh, sublimate his urges to uh, taking care of uh, orchids or plants. So this you know there's a way to to sublimate your 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 desires and the same thing with with other people so the idle time that you have during so you have to find a way to to be busy to it's more of like a mental attitude you know and then for me it's a uh, you have to be accountable for for your for, for your actions That's it. Yes. Thank you so much sa uh, iyong ano ha masasabi tungkol abstinence and uh, abstinence and celibacy. Okay? So let's uh, hear from Dr. Ray. Yeah? Yeah. Um well uh we have really to determine uh, abstinence and celibacy in a different context. No? I see abstinence for non clerical no non clergy uh, it doesn't belong to the clergy for abstinence because it is celibacy it is for them no it is a requirement of celibacy if you want to be in the catholic church whereas of course the other denomination no? like the anglicans or the other protestants they can do uh, uh, Without celibacy, you no. Know? I mean, uh, but still the uh, practice abstinence. But I see more of abstinence in the context of 
family planning uh, partner, no? Andrea Elizabeth. Yeah. Because because abstinence is the number one family planning uh, procedure that we introduce in our pro-life no? in the Philippines. Uh, the others, no, we don't agree, no? Like uh, pills or other uh, artificial contraceptives, no? only abstinence. Okay, and abstinence or uh, family planning, which is uh, the uh, method that uh, Dr. Lu is teaching, no? how how to prevent uh, pregnancy. Uh, we practice that also, no? which is the uh, uh, the real family planning of the Catholic Church, uh, not the uh, use of contraceptives or or uh, any. Uh, uh, Material that they put, no, uh, whether it is uh, to prevent uh, penetration, whether it is to prevent uh, 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 what do you call this uh, fertilization. So there are many types, no, and uh, the the two most common uh, 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 family planning uh, practice, no, which is really permanent, which is of course uh, the uh, for. For male is vasectomy, and for female is uh, for ligation. No? That is the permanent way. You know? Although the others are not. Now going back to abstinence, that is really a one hundred percent result. No, if you want to practice uh, family planning, because you abstain from uh, having contact with uh, the opposite sex, no, or your wife. So that is a good. Uh, practice of uh, family planning. So abstinence is not, to me, it's not part of the uh, clergy, no? because uh, they are not supposed to abstain. They are supposed to be celibate. Now, there are uh, sectors no, of the uh, the uh, clerical, no, which is the uh, deaconess and uh, all those servers, they can, they can really marry, no? and uh, not uh, with, the, uh, with the priest. No? Priesthood. So that's my uh, uh, just first uh, uh, observation. Thank you, Dr. Ray. Tige, meron lang ako ipapoint out, tapos mag-comment lang kayo ha. Okay, you just raise your hand kung sinong sasagot. Yung question ko about, kasi sabi mo nga kanina, Dr. Ray, may mga, excuse me lang po ha, sa ating mga kaparian, okay? Meron pong iba, eh, may kilala ako actually, anyway, it's okay, na nakalimot. Okay? So, usually yung secretary doon natutuloy yung problema. Pero umalis naman siya sa pagiging pare at nagkaroon na rin sila ng pamilya. So, what can you say about that? Meron bang kapatawaran yon or what? Well, well may... uh... Okay, to go ahead. Now you go ahead, sir. Ladies first. Okay. <laughs> uh, for me, it uh, at least he 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 left the priesthood because that's one of the uh, thing with the priesthood is the uh, celibacy. So for me, it it's already between him and God because I know there's a. I know for a fact there's a, there's some uh, actually a, um, offspring of of um, of a, of a priest, but even though he he had uh, we get uh, a child, I think for a while, na uh, continue siya. You know, and I think this is that is the sin, you know. But but if if you know yourself and you think uh, control, it's better of the, the priesthood. At least that is uh, your your self aware. Your you also maintain your self respect because I, there's also a, a priest. Who I know in our town, who married the doctor, mm -hmm. and he left the priesthood. 
So whether forgivable is between him and God, but at least uh, self-respect is maintained by, you know, he, he can't do it. So he just left. It's just like uh, probably with us, if we have a job and we really can maintain it or you cannot <laughs> take it or, you know, there's so much uh, um, uh, remorse or on on what you really want, then you leave the, the job, you know? And I know for a fact, if, um, we have a classmate during our medical school where one of our classmates was all, only forced to take up medicine. Well, he go through the prop, proper medicine, but it's not what he wants. It's not what he likes. So he left. Well, I think that's that's uh, being aware of what you really want. And if you're not, because if you're not happy in what you're doing, what, uh, you know, bak, bakit mo pa dagawin yun, you know? So kung nandu ka sa isang trabaho na hindi ka happy, hindi, hindi mo makontrol sa sarili mo, you just better live. So yeah. I think it's forgiveness is between him and God and how you conduct yourself, you know. Yes, thank you. What about you, Doc Ray? Yeah, well, uh, the, the Catholic tradition uh, celibacy is one of the biggest acts of self-sacrifice a Catholic priest or a clergy is called upon to make, no? For going spouse and progeny and sexual fulfillment for relationship with parishioners and God. Now, uh, the, the only thing that uh, really matters here, you know, whether... Uh, reports, you know, only 80% practice celibacy, meaning 20% are not. So out of more than 400,000 uh, priests and bishops, meaning it's a big uh, percentage uh, uh, partner, you no? Know? Uh, only 80% or 20% are not practicing. And the problem here is on uh, homosexuality. So mm -hmm. the problem of uh, celibacy is on homosexuality of our clergy. Because there are really many who are, of course, we have, we have cases in states, in Canada about, you know, uh, children are being molested by, by the clergy, you know, by the priests. So in fact, there are many who resign, who resign because of that, uh, of that mistake, of all that sin. No? So that, that's the problem. And uh, it's very difficult for the, for the Pope or the Vatican no? to, to really look after these people who are not uh, following celibacy in the context of the Catholic religion. You know? Because another problem is we have the, the uh, Anglican Church of England uh, partner. So they don't practice celibacy. So uh, again, ano ba talaga? And of course, we do not mention about other yeah. other. Uh, 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 religion, no? yes. nah, because they don't practice really celibacy. Now, yeah. another thing is, uh, uh, well, of course, uh, uh, what do you call this? The Muhammad or the Muslim do not practice celibacy, of course. Mm -mm. Yeah. Okay. Ito pa. Uh, meron kasi, I will not point on any religion, ha? Kasi ayoko nung ganun, eh. Alam mo naman yun, di ba, Doc Ray? Kaya yeah. lang, for example, isa kang magulang, okay, tatay at nanay, lumaki yung mga anak mo, naging teenager. So how can you possibly guide them to abstain from sex? How will you guide them? Will you educate your children? Kadalasan naman sa Pilipinas, Yung sex education, hindi naman galing sa magulang eh. Right? So, what do you think about it? Ang dami kasi yung teenage pregnancy eh, Doc Ray. Right? Yeah, sa atin How can we correct yeah. that? Right. Yeah. Sasabihin well, this is ka bataw, huwag ka mag-sex. Can you tell me kung how can you do that? Hmm. Uh, there, there are many uh, causes of this uh, partner, no, Anne Elizabeth. Because of our overseas family, uh, foreign workers. No, this is one of the reasons because 
the mother is not in the house or the father other way you no know? or both of them are not in the house so the, the children can go anything do anything they want you know? so they are not guided by the principles of uh, uh, the catholic religion or any religion for that matter and uh, and uh, of course abstinence is the number one uh, uh, teaching that should be for our children, no? no, abstinence, 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 because you know there will be time. No, but uh, if you will notice, also partner, there are many uh, homosexuals now, no, LGBTs in our midst. No, in fact, that is really part in our laws now. We have no problem, and how how can, how can you practice abstinence with, with, with that kind of uh, with that kind of uh, laws, no, that we have. So, so laws, you know, uh, or same-sex marriage, you know. So, so all these things, you know, we cannot really do something that is more of a spiritual thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ano mo sa mo, classmate? Um, I I think we really have to educate. The education starts at home, you know, and. Uh, and it's it's reality that uh, the social media, that the movies, it's all uh, so much innuendos or really uh, on sexuality. And so, uh, for like from my experience, like uh, with my you know my my kids are into a lot of this. Uh, they they watch a movie on their phone, and sometimes you really cannot. Uh, control but you really have to know what they're doing like for me one time they were so they were they were you know um staying up late watching a movie and that time i found out that they were into mm -hmm. korean movies you know dramas and and my kids are um uh, were born in the states and then i have a surprise so one time i i watched with them to see how how they react because for me i have to know how they are because it's not enough that you say don't do this don't do that so you really have to 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 really uh, know your kids and who they're with you know because turo ka ng turo kung yung mali naman yung mga grupo nila then it's useless kasi kung minsan marami kang ako sa sa states Merong mga kaklase yung mga kaibigan yung uh, uh, my, my daughter na nakita nila na buntis yung ano na for, and then they try to help. For me, that was good. So they can see reality of how it is to raise a kid yes. when they're still in school. So, so uh, nagkaroon siya ng isip na, you know, she doesn't want to do that. She doesn't want to undergo that. So you talk to your kid about it because it's very important that they could uh, bring out how they feel, what they what they do, and sometimes uh, like like uh, you know they 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 have boyfriends before, but now they're both the lucky pag break sila. But for me, I I let them come in and know the the the. Yung, yung partner, yung grupo, so that you will also earn respect from the other from the other person because you will know who they are, how they are, are they respectful, you yeah. know, and yeah. So you really have, in, for me, it's really education and, and knowing your kid, you know, like I treat them like, like friends so they could talk to me, they could, they could uh, spill out what they feel, you know, and so you're sensitive to their, to their, to their growth because mahirap eh. That's true. Mahirap. That's true. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, partner, can I just add? No? Yeah. Uh, the, the worst problem, uh, also Elizabeth, if I call you Elizabeth, uh, or Bessie, uh, call yeah. me Bessie. Yeah, better, yeah. Mm -hmm. Problem is media, okay? Media. Media. And movies, you can just imagine what uh, movie 
uh, won the Oscar that just uh, a, a few days ago. Everything, everywhere, all at once. If you have seen that uh, movie, uh, it, it's really uh, something that we are out of this world already. No, it is something uh, uh, that uh, we cannot uh, accept. No. This is against the Catholic religion, and uh, I don't know why this is happening. No? And uh, uh, most of these are Asian, pa, no? mga Chinese, yung mga, <laughs> mga uh, artists. And, uh, but anyway, um, I just watch it. You just watch it, watch it, and uh, see what you can say about it. Now, yeah, the uh, internet, no, is mm -hmm. the worst. Is the worst enemy. Of our children, if you are away in your home and you cannot and you do not put off the connection with that, uh, with those, uh, because there are there are uh, uh, connections that you should put out. No, yeah. if they will leave them alone. No, but again, if they are out of your house and they go to the uh, internet, uh, uh, what do you call that? Internet uh, cafe. Cafe. Ah, wala yeah. na patay ka na rin doon. Wala yeah. na rin doon. <laughs> So. Mm. Uh, everything, the porno is there, everything is there, so wala talaga. it's really difficult now to control your children. No? It's only through God, no? through prayers, that you can control that. If you can let your children just pray and read the Bible and uh, and uh, practice, practice your own uh, religion, no? yeah. uh, because all religions are good. No? There's no religion right. that is not good. So, so practice yeah. your religion and you know yeah. you will you'll be guided by the Holy Spirit. Yeah. But also it's difficult when when you know the kids you will especially when you start to talk about uh religion and go to church and sometimes uh you know uh like for for my experience, um I always tell them you pray because for me yes i pray for my kids but i want to what i try to to tell them is that they have to pray on their own because i said i cannot guide you all the time i cannot always be with you but uh, i said you you pray like before you go to go out and drive your car mm -hmm. you pray because you, you may be a good driver but the other drivers are not so it's the same way i said uh, you have to to pray for yourself of course it's it's an other thing for us parents we're always praying for them yeah. but so basically i'm saying is you have to really build a foundation on the kids you yes. know that they be prayerful that they would lo know how to 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 be to ask god and be humble and and you know, sometimes you know, I like before they leave the house. I said, "You pray, you pray," you know, because you may be praying for them, but if you're not, if their mind is not prayerful too, then you know, even, even, even like they they do a sign of the cross where they where they leave. It's already for me. It's good because yeah. I know the Holy Spirit is guiding them. But but uh, it's. It's the foundation that you build on your, your children. And yeah. of course, the camaraderie that you, because the, it's not like, because you're a parent, that's what you should do. That you should, you know, you treat them like your friends, adults, so that they be open to you, you know? Yes, yes, that's yeah. true. Anyway, yeah, because, uh, yeah. yeah. Migrit ko na sa, sa Facebook yung nanonood, okay? The uh, coach, Jonathan Petalver. Hi, coach. Yes, and uh, alam mo naman, no, yung ating mentoring and everything, the master classes is uh, through you, okay? That's why I'm inviting most of my friends to enroll sa master classes mo, Coach Jonathan Petalver. And greet ko din si, uh, may mga taga-kotabato dito eh, si uh, Jerly Kimchu Kimchu. Yeah, kumusta? And of course, si Tita Dolly. Then in Australia is watching. And of course, see si Minerva P. Molon. Melba, how are you? And see si Maria Teresa. Thank you so much for making silip dahil napahaganda po ng topic naming araw na to about abstinence and uh, celibacy. 
meron lang po ako sasabihin sa inyo ha. Alam mo, we, 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 but the three of us have been not, not so much to talk about, right? Parang nasabi na natin lahat eh. No? And iibahin ko lang. Ibig sabihin, kung nag-abstain ka, okay, let's go back to the anatomy and physiology ng katawan. Okay, since we're all doctors here, yeah, okay? May nagtanong lang, okay? What happens to the body when you stop having sex, okay? Yun yung tanong. Alright? So how will you answer that? Okay? Pago nyo sagutin yan, what happens to your body when you stop having sex? Ano yung pros? Ano yung cons? Right? Okay? So pwede yung sabihin mo na uh, on the physical side, may mangyayari ba? Hindi ako nag-sex. On the physical health. Okay? Mentally, what happened? So what do you think? Classmate. What happens to the well, body if you don't have sex? <laughs> I think uh, in there it's really it's more yeah. really self awareness, you know. Mm. You know, you know you know your ur- I mean urges you should know and how how to to deal with it, you know. Of course with with uh, if you stop having sex and uh and also when you get older he, he, of course there are changes you know uh there will be dryness there will be you know things like that and so sometimes you also have to think of your partner because <laughs> i know when 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 you're too dry and then you know it's it's not that only you you know it's it's not only you who get hurt but the, the other person too you know because uh so uh you know what uh, you just have to to you know have lots of uh ointments and things like that that uh, are available but the thing is uh the i think the main thing is the the mental attitude you know that uh, as i said early, you really have to know you have to decide what's your purpose of of abstaining i think that's the main thing you know because if you don't know the reason why you're abstaining then you're like uh you'd be confused especially when the the real urges are are there you know and how you handle how to, you know like like uh if you have uh, that urge and then you have the phone and you feel like calling the other person and i'm talking about you know uh uh like with my with with the uh, youth when they have this or they would they, they're always on the phone you yeah. know so so it's 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 really uh awareness on how what's your purpose uh you're aware when it comes that you don't have the idle time you know like you keep yourself busy you 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 divert your mind and yeah. i think that's the main thing yes That's true. Okay? So anyway, uh, so may pros, may cons. Depende yeah. kasi kung ikaw ay may asawa, tapos tumigil na kayo may make love, pwedeng may, may problema yung babae, may problema yung lalaki. So tama ka, the couple should um, communicate, connect, be creative para umabot kayo sa tunay na kaligayahan. Tama po yun. May gusto kang sabihin, partner? Yeah. Uh, well, there are things really which happening now that we don't know. No? In fact, even the uh, the priests who are uh, practicing uh, uh, celibacy, you know, yeah. they have a problem. You know, uh, we only don't know that uh, that's why there are many obese uh, priests, no? because they go into overeating, <laughs> and then some go, go to alcoholism. And uh, worse, even yeah. if you decide to live civilly, no, sexuality is still there. So, yeah, so you, yeah that's why. Pa, hindi naman yeah, that, that's why, so, according to report, only 80% percent. No, uh, uh, no, study showed that 80% percent of priests had broken their vows of celibacy. You can just imagine. I thought it was the other way around. Yeah. No, the study true. shows that 80%, percent. You know, mm-hmm. so meaning. Maybe not only to a woman, 
mm. but to email, you know, most yeah. of them, 80%, 80 you yeah. know, broken their vows of celibacy. I yeah. don't know if that is true. I hope it's not because I, I cannot I cannot imagine now what's going on. No? Uh, because I have just uh, read that in the Canada report. No? So, yeah. so in the entire life, I don't know what, what will happen to them. No? Not yeah. having sex, their mental health also. No? Uh, yeah. Very mentioned. I think Beth mentioned about mental health. Mm. Yeah, of course. That's why there are many, you know, uh uh suicides no? mm. because of uh, because of sex mm. you know uh, they, are, they have mental issues no because mm. Uh, mm. the gay if they identify as heterosexual that, uh, that is very uh they are too picky or not sexual because mm. they don't like sex you know so all, all these things are intertwined no i mean the, we, we, we cannot see all oh, this is it this is it no mm. It is a very broad problem it in is. our universe now. Mm -hmm. So and you, I, I will just mention there is what we call male virgin, you know, male virgin stigmas, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, that, that's also damaging because of shame, anxiety, depression, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, because they are ashamed that they are not married. You know? so, well, there are some. No? Even when I meet someone I have good connection with, and I'm feeling not good enough and self, they call him self sabotage. <laughs> <laughs> Sex sabotage. Yeah. Male virgin. Yeah. Male virgin. Whoa, Megan ba? Male yeah. virgin. New, yeah. That's new to me. <laughs> yeah, that's that's, that's true. They, they are true. That's true. No, they just don't get married, but they are clean. No? They, they, especially if they are. They are religious, you know, they go to church. Oh, yeah. So these are the male virgins. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, meron kasi yung mga naging biuda or biudo. Okay. Ang tendency kasi, pag nabiudo, sila yung kaagad, parang meron namang partner kaagad. Okay. Pero pag biuda, uh, meron namang partner, pero sila yung matagal bago magkaroon ng partner itong mga kababaihan. Tama ba sinasabi ko? Yeah, tama, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, the only thing that I can uh, I, I can remember, no? Right. Uh, uh, there's some kind in, I think I've read in the journal, no? Mm. Uh, do it in, in 15 minutes, no? Mm. Uh, ask yourself when you wake up, how do I feel right now? Mm -hmm. What am I grateful for right now? Mm. What is something I can do today and will be good for me? Yeah. What is taking up most of my head space today? Mm -hmm. How have how have I been speaking to myself lately? So we we we, sh we should tend to internalize anxiety. So it's important to think about how you are treating yourself. That is what uh, that is what uh, I think is psychologist uh, Dr. Phillips no, said. So. Uh, yeah. That's it, uh, partner. No, yeah. For those uh, male virgins or or female virgins, you know, yeah. that uh, they, they don't they don't want to marry. No? There are, I know many many. Uh, uh, I will not call them old maids, you know, but they are they are still they are still uh, uh, my friends. But the thing is, yeah, they don't want to get married. What can we do? Yeah. And especially if they if they are if they are already uh, successful in the in the uh, profession, ay nako, ang dami. Ang dami ayaw na mag-asawa. You're talking mm -hmm. about women or men? Women. <laughs> yeah. Women, <laughs> women. Hindi ba? Like, yeah. for example, uh, ito, batchmate ko itong si Lisbeth, eh. Uh, hindi ko lang alam kung sino yun mas maraming biuda or hiwalay sa batchmates natin. I don't know. Okay, but the statistics have shown that mas madaming na uunang lalaki, di ba? Tama? Right. Yeah. yeah. So ganon talaga eh, no? Ngayon, kung meron naman soulmate, kahit na nabiyuda ka or matagal ka wala sa awa, then go ahead, no problem. Okay, remove the guilt. Okay, if you have a soulmate and talaga mo may gusto kang kasama habang ikaw ay tumatanda. Go lang, hindi ba? Doc Ray? Doc Lisa? Yeah. 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 Mm. 
Tama. Anyway, so, ano oras na? Okay, so, may time pa tayo. Let's talk a little about wellness, Dr. Elizabeth, ah? Oo. Mm-hmm. Uh, kasi kami ni Dr. Ray, we are into the longevity and longevity. Gusto namin humabang buhay at bumata. Gusto mong malaman ng edad ni Dr. Ray? <laughs> ano? <laughs> Sige na, sabihin mo na, partner. Ay, nawala yung microphone mo. Na mi- mag- ang mute yeah, ka. Wild, wild guess mo na, Beth. Wild guess. Wild guess daw. Wild guess? Uh, hmm. Siguro, ano, 70? Wow. wow. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You are short by 19 years. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at 89. I'm going 90. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. I salute, I salute you with both hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's because of the Dr. Lulu, Dr. Lulu, my partner. Uh, because he's giving he's, he's giving me this next topic that he will he will he will now mention. Oh yeah, okay. So alam mo Dr. Eliza, uh, alam, alam mo naman siguro yun nasa Facebook naman at lahat, di ba? Uh, basic lang kasi yung gusto namin ni Dr. Ray that we should be drinking water. Water lang. Kung ano man yun meron food supplement yung mga nanonood ngayon, yeah, food supplement go drink it, okay? Pero you drink your food supplement basically with water. So ang gusto lang namin ni Doc Ray, yung water ay may fulvic. Fulvic. So let me talk about it. Okay, then Doc Ray, you join me ha. Okay. So may nagtanong, ano ba yung fulvic? So let's see. Share na natin bago tayo mag-end. Alright. So that's it. Fulvic acid. Ano to eh? Uh, dietary supplement din naman ito. Powder siya. Nilagay mo sa water. Matutunaw. Magiging itim yung tubig. So it's black water. So it can improve your skin, your gastrointestinal system, your brain, your heart, etc. And can boost your immune system. Okay? So ionic minerals ito. Ang tanong kasi, uh, ano bang meron dyan? So explain ko lang. Okay? This is the missing link to optimal and nutritional health. Missing link ah? to optimal and nutritional health. So whatever food supplement anyone is taking, go lang yan, walang problema. Importante yung tubig. So it is a fo- it's a form, ang form niya, powder, black powder. Brownish black powder. Nakalagay siya sa bote. Ayan, yung bote na yan. Okay? 10 grams ang laman yan. And it has probiotics, it has fulvic humic acid, it has 70 plus trace minerals, ionic yun na ionic, there's electrolytes, of course, it's alkaline, okay? And um, yan siya, nakabote. And may nagtanong kasi dito, where is it available? Eh, wala po to sa Mercury, wala rin sa SM, wala to sa high top. It's uh, available through uh, distributors, okay? Now, we are one of them. And we are proud to say that we love sharing this black MP powder to anyone May sakit o wala, bata o matanda. Mm-mm. Now, Zapet, that's the name of the company that distributes that cheaper. Kasi you can buy that, mahal yan eh. Pero if it's through the Zapet company, mas mura siya. Okay? Ayan, nakabote yan, pero konti lang ang laman niya. It's only 10 grams, pero you just put a little, one four teaspoon, so 500 ml of water or 1 liter of water. Okay? Hindi malamig, hindi mainit. Alright. Now, may lasa ba? Walang lasa po yan. Anong benefits? Walang lasa, anong benefits? Okay, benefits are number one, antioxidant. So it actually neutralizes free radicals. Laban yan sa silent inflammation. Laban din yan sa allergy. And of course, ayan, boost immune system. Definitely, it will imu- boost the immune system. Okay? And it takes care or helps our enzymes. Remember, since we undergo a metabolic process, kailangan ng enzymes, it can boost enzyme production. Okay? Why not? And syempre, 
Doc Ray, ano pa nagagawa niya? Marami, right? So, syempre, it can uh, provide the electrolytes that we need. Di ba, pag nag, ano tayo, nag-exercise, like for example, si Doctora, this batchmate of mine, the partner, mahilig yan sumayaw. Sobra. Parang ako yan. Oo. We love dancing. Okay? So, we need to be hydrated. That's the point. Okay? So, if you are hydrated, dapat meron electrolytes. So, ang advice ko lang, hindi tayo iinom na energy drink. Hindi po. Kasi that's the most acidic drink. Eh. If we drink this fulvic water, andyan yung electrolytes. Okay? So, it can increase our energy level. Pag nag-ballroom dancing kami ni Dr. Elizabeth, eto, yan na. Okay? No. It can actually deliver usable oxygen by 45%. Nakakatulong ba yan sa COVID? Yes, yeah, sa mga pasyente namin, Lizbeth, uh, we have patients na home-based, hindi na ospital, kasi hindi na maipasok sa hospital, especially one year na grabe yung pandemic. Then we give them, of course, may medication, then we give them water. Pero yung water, dapat fulvic water. Because it can deliver usable oxygen by 45%. So it can restore electrochemical balance and it can prevent muscle cramps. Yung mga senior, ay nako, tulad ko, nako, eh, problema ko yan dati, muscle cramps na yan. Since it has ionic minerals, of course, yeah, it has magnesium, syempre, okay? So it can prevent muscle cramps. Alright? And definitely, it can balance your body pH level. Ano pa? May probiotics na rin yan. So hindi na ako kailangan iinom ng any capsule na may probiotic o yakult. Kasi meron na itong black water ng probiotics. Alright? So it can promote healthy gut. It can regulate body weight. Sa mga tabain, itong si Dr. Elizabeth, partner, hindi matabayan. Kasi yung payat ko rin yan. Walang problema sa tabayan eh. Okay? Pero marami kaming batchmates na medyo heavyweight. So we can ask them, Elizabeth, that they can drink every day a black water. Okay, how much? 1.5 liters a day within 24 hours. Pagising na pagising, wag magkakape, drink a glass of black water, it can actually make you full. Nakakabusog siya eh. E functional food namin niya ni Doc Ray eh. Okay? So it can balance your hormone and good for the brain, mental clarity, it can prevent dementia, it can prevent Alzheimer's. All right? Now, and ito yung sinasabi ko, is it good for virus? Whatever virus it is, kahit na hindi COVID-COVID yan, kahit na anong virus, preventative siya at prophylactic. Okay? That's very important. Na ano pa? Nagkikilate ba ng metals and toxins? Yes. And rejuvenated skin? We love that. Kasi pag tumatanda na tayo, ay eh, naku, kailangan ng mga collagen-collagen so it can boost the natural collagen in our body. Okay? Na ano pa? Functional food yan. And Dr. Ray will tell you later. Okay? And best hydration, yes, it is. Uh, not all water are the same. Meron alkaline, may mineral, may oxygenated water, meron hydrogen-rich water, meron pie water, meron kanjan water. Pero for me, ito yung top of the line na tubig. Kung yung kotse, merong top of the line na kotse, it sa tubig, ito yun. Okay? May aral ba to? Meron. Okay? This actually fulvic has been existing long before pa. Tagal na. Okay? Best hydration yan and it can absorb. It can assimilate nutrients. So whatever food supplement you are taking, mas na-absorb ka agad because it makes a cellular membrane permeable. Okay? na nainom mo na siya, na-absorb ka agad, nice nagamit ka agad yung food supplement. Okay? So, it can enhance overall performance, your brain, your heart, muscle, nervous system. Okay? Na yung full vicumic acid na yan, pag na-absorb yan at nagamit. Okay? Absorption and utilization of full vicumic once it is consumed is not dependent on a particular healthy state of digestion, alkalinity, or oxygenation. Ibig sabihin, kahit na may sakit ka or wala kang sakit, bata ka man or matanda, 
buntis ka naman o hindi buntis, maganda pag nakainom ka ng fulvic water. Okay? So what can it do? Marami. That fulvic actually cannot be damaged. It cannot be restricted. Yung benefits niya hindi mamiminimize by any unhealthy condition within the body. Nagagamit ka agad yan. Okay? Fully utilized, yes. May significant effects enhancing every system of the body. Okay? Gusto ko lang i-greet si Pilar. Hello, Pilar Mateo and Robert Camacho. Kumusta naman? They're watching us. Okay. So yung fulvic humic, sobrang complex yan. That although there have been many attempts, it has never been successfully recreated in any laboratory. So this is natural fulvic, a natural drink. It is actually an organic drink, a functional drink. Okay? Ionic substance po siya. It is the essence of nature synergy. All right? Okay. So extracting and bottling the fulvic humic is fundamentally a powerful <coughs> It's a powerful way of concentrating the healthful vitality contained within life-giving pure organic food. Bagitin ko lang, Doc Ray. Bless you pala. Bless you. <laughs> Matching ka too late ako, di ba? So it can improve hydration. Nabanggit ko na kanina. You don't get hydration from drinking lots of coffee, drinking lots of tough drinks, at kung ano-ano pang unhealthy powder juice, ha? So, improve hydration through fulvic water. Okay? Because, why? Because there will be advanced cell permeability. Okay? Kaya na-enhance hydration ng cells. So, when fulvic is present, water is able to enter the cells at an above normal rate. Alright? Ito pa. So, kung may better cell hydration, maraming benefit. Tama? It can improve blood volume, oxygenate cells. Hydrated cells can improve muscle contraction and lubrication of joints. And of syempre, pag sa skin, ay, maganda yan. yan. Gusto ko yan kasi it can promote supple and elastic skin. It can bolster proper kidney function for toxin removal. Okay? So kung better hydrated ka with pubic water, okay, it will help the water to bind with fiber. So, mas masarap magpupu. I repeat, anyone who has, I just ko, hirap minsan magpupu, di ba? So, makakatulong ito to keep things moving properly out of your system. Alright? Kahit na yung mga may mood swings tsaka emotional, alam mo na, maraming problema sa dami utang, tumataas ang presyo ng mga delata, di ba? Problema yon. This can actually be all improved, okay? Even moods and emotional well-being are improved with better hydration, okay? So si Doc Ray will mention about immune system. See nga, Doc Ray. Yeah, well, of course, uh, because uh, it is an antioxidant, an anti-inflammatory uh, uh, Fluid, the liquid, no? you know, because the full big really is anti antioxidant. It's a number one antioxidant and also anti-inflammatory. So, of course, you will you will develop uh, immune uh, uh, immunity to uh, sickness, no? and because it can also restore our body homeostasis, no? our blood pressure, our heart rate, no? yeah. and uh, it can it can maintain our equilibrium. Correct. So it is very good. It's very good. Yeah. Yes. Walang lasa to ha. May nagtatanong may lasa ba daw? Wala po. Okay? And of course, um, Colette and the Joy, yan po yung itsura nung lalagyan. 10 grams lang po yan. And his doctor rin, nagtitimpla na siya in a 1 liter of clean water except tap water ha. Mm -mm. Hindi malamig, hindi mainit. But di ba Doc Ray, you can put, pag nakatimpla ka na ng black water, pwede na siya lagyan ng ice. Okay? Yeah, yeah. You yeah. can put it in the refrigerator also. Yeah. No, pagka naka, naka, naka uh, mix na, pwede mo lang kayo sa refrigerator pag gusto mo malamig talaga. Pero uh, it, it's better not uh, cold. Better even uh, warm or hot. No, but I think uh, the, uh, yeah. this one also is a very good uh, detoxifying uh, water uh, bed. No? Because you, know, you can use this in your intermittent fasting. No? 
uh, intermittent fasting or whether it is 16, 18 hours, no? Uh, seven hours, uh, seven, seven o'clock, you take your, your uh, supper, your dinner, and then you take your lunch at two or three. And, but you can drink within uh, this time with the uh, with, uh, fulvic uh, black MP, you know, black water. And mm -hmm. it can also help in the autophagy. You know? So it will clean up your cells yeah. you know, because it is a good detoxifying. In fact, you can use this uh, with even 24, 48 hours uh, fasting. Uh, there are some who fast for three days. You yeah. can use this. Because you need water. Correct. Mm -mm. Importante yan. Mm -mm. Now. Wala siyang lasa. Wala din artificial color. Black siya dahil sa structural formula ng fulvic acid. May carbon, may hydrogen, may oxygen. It's because of the carbon content. That's why it's black. So no, no artificial color. Wala din pampatamis. Wala kang lasa eh. No preservatives. Walang artificial electrolytes. Ang dami, nga, ang dami nga kasi ionic minerals. Those are the electrolytes. Okay? And of course, walang artificial pH level. Walang artificial chemical whatsoever. Alright? So you can drink that any time of the day. May sakit o wala. You can drink that with your food supplement. You can drink that with your medications too. Pwede inumin nito, especially yung mga... Uh, athletes o hindi athlete or you go zumba you go dancing you go ballroom dancing baon baon ko to Elizabeth as in pati yung mga di binibigyan ko din mm -mm. so it is fda but partner i will just add uh, paki balik kayo partner i will just add partner yung yung no artificial thing okay that is a very very clear uh opposite of our processed food uh bet di ba Processed food, nandiyan lahat yan eh. Ah, uh, yung canned, uh, bottled, whether it is uh, box, it is plastic, you know, anything, everything is there. So that is processed food, that which is really harmful for our body. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, partner. Yeah. All right, so it is generally regarded as safe, not toxicity. Okay. May nagsabi pa nga eh, medyo malaking lalaki, mahilig siya mag-gym-gym. Sabi niya, Tita Doc, sabi mo 1.5 liters lang. Ako nga, minsan 2 liters, 2.5. At pwede naman. Pwede po yun. Wala pong toxicity yan. Okay? Now, ito pang sabi ni partner. Ano yung good news mo? <laughs> yeah, because it is it is really a complete uh, drink, no? a complete food uh, uh, to, to our knowledge, no? based on mineral bump, you know, we, we call it uh, the functional drink because it contains protein, fat, carbohydrates, minerals, vitamins, fibers, and water. So what do you need? It, it contains lots of polyphenols. So, you know, polyphenols is good for our body. So it's really, to me, is a, a food-based mineral bump. Yeah. Grabe. Alam mo, Dr. Elizabeth, no. I was uh, introduced with this. That was the time na may COVID. Oo. Okay, so natutunan ko lang ito through Zoom and everything. Tapos pwede naman mag-mail, nag-order ako. I tried it. And then naisip ko kaagad itong si Dr. Ray Chavez. Okay, kasi mahilig to sa wellness, wellness eh. Siyempre, like me, skeptic. Mas skeptic siya sa kanya. Mas, mas, mas skeptic siya sa akin. So, yun ang gusto ko, nacha-challenge ako eh. Sabi ko, Doc Ray, would you like to try the black water? Sabi niya, yuck. Yun ang sabi niya, yuck. Yuck. <laughs> ano ba yuck? Ano yuck? Is, try mo mo na. Okay? Tapos mag-aral ka. Kasi inaral ko na to. Aralin mo. Hindi ko tuturo sa'yo. Mag-aral ka. Sabi ko sa kanya. Eh, mahilig mag-aral to eh. Then, inaral niya. And then, nag-usap kami ulit after one week. And then, ayun. Then, nag-connect kami. <laughs> All right? So, and I have another good news pala. Okay. Yung testosterone, syempre, you know, is the key to male strength and virility. And we, women, also need that. Kasi, mas bumababa yung testosterone level namin mga babae, right? Okay. So, pag mababa ang testosterone, it can stall your sex drive. Okay? And patatabain ka. And it can lead to loss of muscle mass. 
Now, ano pa? So, the fulvic acid or humic and fulvic acid can help boost natural testosterone production and balance the hormones. All right? Now, ito yung sinasabi ko kaagad sa mga friends ko. Since ito ay naaral na at merong pag-aaral, may science ang fulvic, it, it's now known that it is the most powerful electrolyte in existence. Most powerful. At nakaka-deliver nga siya ng usable oxygen. Okay? Check yan. Check. It has 70 plus trace minerals. Check ulit. Antioxidant? Check. Improve immune function? Eh, check na check talaga yan. It can support healthy circulation? Da definitely. Okay? Eh, yung metabolism ko? Check ulit. Eh, what about the brain function? Memory, mood, prevents dementia, Alzheimer's? Check. What about the heart? Check or left. And it can absorb and assimilate nutrients like food supplements? Yes. It can chelate pesticide, heavy metal, toxin, opo. Cell regeneration, cell repair, syempre. And it can enhance, repopulate the gut flora. Kasi may probiotic siya. Alright? So this is actually the missing link optimum health and nutrition. It is a top of the line water. Walang sinabi. Kasi minsan may kausap ako eh, partner. Tinatanong ko, anong tubig mo? Ay, tita dok, ano? Alkaline water, mineral water. O, yun lang. Ano nagagawa? Ayun lang. Ay, di alkaline. Eh, kulang po yun. Okay? How much minerals are in your mineral water? Do you know? You will not know. It has to be full Vic Minerals para sure ka na 70 plus yun. At may probiotic siya, itong Black MP Powder. Okay? No. Of course, lahat, all doctors know this. Si Dr. Linus Pauling, na two-time Nobel Prize winner na kahit na anong sakit, it's because of the mineral deficiency. Eh ano ba ang full Vic Water? Marami bang minerals yan? Correct. So, nakakatulong siya. Okay? So, we avoid sickness. We want to look young. We want to live long. E di maghanap na tayo ng isang tubig o food supplement na makakatulong dito sa sinasabi ni Linus Pauling. Yun lang naman yun eh. Common sense lang. Di ba? Yun lang yun. Okay? Alright. Sino ba to? Okay. We had a meeting, Dr. Ray Chavez, and I have another wellness guru, doctor, Dr. Bani Bernardo. Yan, another skeptic doctor. Inausap po siya, tawalan ng tawa. Sabi niya, ayoko yan, itim, nakakadiri, uh, whatever. Okay, can you try it first? Nung tinikman niya, madami yung nilagay niya. Sabi ko, konti lang. Parang isang kutsara ata. Yung nilagay niya, <laughs> eh, sa totoo lang. Sobra, ang dami. So, so, you don't do that. How much of it ba? Hindi inukos mo kaagad yung laman ng bote. Nag-ibang lasa. Ibang lasa. Nagkaroon ng lasa. Okay? So, you only yeah. a little of it. Okay? Carbon na na carbon. Nasa ang carbon. Mm -mm. So, after that, alam na nila. So, ayan, ay kipag-meeting na rin sa amin, Doc Elizabeth. Okay? All right. <laughs> Alright, may nagtanong kasi dito saan daw available. Mabibili ba daw sa Mercury? Siyempre hindi. Okay? Pag nasa Mercury yan, hindi mo papansinin. Wala lang. Mag wala. Okay? So it has to be in, you know, an information to all those na gusto matuto. Okay, ano yan? Ano yan? Resistance na yan? Okay, there's this company. Ang pangalan niya, Zap It. Okay? So yung Zap It, ang gusto nila is to be able to buy the black powder, mas maganda kung meron ka din vitamin C. And for me, it's okay. Kasi ako, bumibila ako ng vitamin C. Eh. So I buy the vitamin C from Zap It Company. Ito, hindi to capsule. Naka-powder. Powdered form yan. Ha? Okay? Now, merong, may nagtanong yan, magkano? Okay, meron 1.5 meron 6,000. Okay? 1,500 would be uh, dalawang boxes. 6,000 is 8 boxes. Okay? Pwede rin naman, uh, if you have 6,000, 
bibigyan ka ng apat na boxes ng vitamin C powder, powder din yan, and isang bote ng black MP. Alright? Okay. Now, sa so, minang tanong, eh, what if I wanna buy again? Eh, di bumili ka lang ng bote. Wala namang problema. Okay? Okay. So, ano nagawa ng black water sa amin? It was able to detox. It was able to repair ourselves. And of course, yung immune system na suporta. Ayun na naman yung, yun yung purpose natin eh. Right? If we have patients, that's what we tell them. Mag-detox ka, may cell repair, ma-support immune system, kung ano-ano yung nire-reseta pa natin, di ba? So, simplehan na lang natin. Nabanggit na ni Doc Ray kanina, have the best nutrition, eat well, kain prutas, gulay, okay? And uminom ng tubig, okay? Black water dapat. Now, it's a lifelong learning, lifelong coaching. Yun ang purpose dito eh. Okay? And of course, si Doc Ray, sabi niya, Doc Ray, it, ikaw ito nagsabi eh. Ano sabi mo? <laughs> yeah, healthy mind, healthy body, healthy life. And it is a wellness winner if you take folic acid. <laughs> Black <laughs> MP. Black yeah, that is the missing link. Di ba sabi natin? That is the missing link yeah. of health. Yes. Longevity. Yeah, longevity. Hopefully, uh, si Dr. Ray kasi, Dr. Elizabeth, uuwi yan mm -hmm. sa April 15. Eh, babalik ka na ba? Yeah, yeah, I will. I have already uh, flight schedule, no? Uh, April 15. Oh. Yeah. Ilang na uwi mo? Classmate? Eh, eh, sa uh, 19. Ah, 19 of April. Uh -huh. So, so baka makita tayo. Yeah, hopefully may meron oras si Dr. Elizabeth so we can meet at Ace Water Spa, right? We can eat there. Oo, di ba? So kasama kayo sa yung Lumitaw, no? Classmate kayo? Lumitaw? Nestor Lumitaw. Nestor Lumitaw. Yeah. 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 Kasama yeah. namin sa, sa Doctors for Life. Oh. Umiinom din niya ng black water. Nestor. Nestor. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Anyway, yeah. And syempre, uh, tomorrow you're going to San Miguel? San Miguel, yes. ba? Yes, yeah, oh. San Miguel. Yeah. Okay. You will stay there. Sige lang. Yeah, okay. You just yeah. tell me your schedule, no problem. Kung kailan lang. Libre. No problem. Okay. Kasi gusto okay. kitang gusto kitang painumin eh. Uh, okay. Uh, I want you to do it. lalo bumata. <laughs> At makag-dancing, dancing. Eh, dancing, si Ray, mahilig din sa mayaw yan. Partner ko din yan eh, pag may sayawan. Si Doc Ray. Yeah, tango, yes. tango, swing, sasa, yeah. Yes. Si Dr. Elizabeth, naku, pag nakita mo Facebook yan, meron silang bar. Hey, where is that bar? I love that. Sa uh, San Antonio. Sa, um, nice. I like it. You dance, you sing. I love it. Yeah. Naingit ako. Anong probinsya ba si Bet? Anong probinsya ka, Bet? Bulacan po. Ah, pure Tagala. Okay. Uh, okay. Tagalog na Tagalog. Tagala, yeah. <laughs> Correct. Mm. It, kumusta ko lang? Evelyn Lau, you're watching. Hello, Evelyn. And Pilar. And syempre, anak mo, si Richie. Doc Ray, he's watching. Oh, atin palagi. Thank you. Yeah. And si Robert Camacho, my friend. Ito, magaling sumayo to. Si Robert Camacho. And of course, Tita Dali, another dancer. Okay, and Minerva Malon is here. Yeah. And thank you so much, Coach Jonathan Patelver. And it's 10 o'clock. Sige. Maraming okay. Maraming salamat. And uh, gusto ko lang magsabi kayo ng last word about our topic. Ito na sa likod ko. Okay? If, if I may ask my batchmate, Dr. Elizabeth, about celibacy and abstinence. Sige. Uh, it's basically celibacy and abstinence. They're basically, for me, it's the same, but celibacy has a touch of uh, uh, religiosity, you know, spirituality between you and God. Uh, but it's you, you basically, you, you really either you lifelong, lifelong uh, abstain from sex or you abstain from sex till you get married, you know, 
uh, and then with abstinence, it's uh, it's it could be from for for buried people, it could be for single, for for teenager too, where where you you abstain from sex for 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 a purpose, you know that. So therefore, like especially teenage girls or you no, know, you have to learn how to say no, because if you have a purpose not to give in till you know the proper time you know so it's it's a mental attitude it's basically decision for you not to to indulge till at the right time you know yes thank you classmate okay okay yeah well okay. Celebrity. Celebrity. You're welcome. Yeah, celibacy really is for, for the clergy, you know. Or, but abstinence is also for the clergy, especially now uh, uh, Holy, Holy Week, you know. Mm. Fasting and abstinence is the name of the game. But but the abstinence on the sexual life, you know, it is the number one uh, uh, contraceptive you know, uh, in our pro-life uh, group. You know? Abstinence is 100% uh, pure and uh, uh, sure, no, uh, because you know, uh, no touching. So abstinence, really, no, and uh, that's it. So celibacy and abstinence could be the same, no, for for our Holy Week uh, celebration, celibacy for the clergy, abstinence also for the uh, common people, you know, and for the priest, no? fasting and abstinence. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good Alam night. Po, napakaganda ng topic natin ngayon and I'm sure maraming natuto natuto talaga. Di ba? Okay, maraming salamat classmate. Yeah. I hope to see you soon. And yeah, thank you. Maraming salamat. Picture, we'll picture. You. Did you take picture. my picture? Picture tayo, syempre. Smile. <laughs> Just a minute. I'm gonna take it. Smile, eh? Yeah. Give me yeah. a big <laughs> smile. Smile. Are you ready? And one, two, and yep. Three, another one. And another one. Uh, wacky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Good night. Thank uh, you. Parker. Salamat. And okay, well, good night. You. Good night. Bye. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> All right. That's it. Thank you so much, mga nanood or Maybe you can do replay of this. And this will be on YouTube too. Okay? So you can text to the doc, 0917-536-3853. Or you can email me at doclulumarquez at gmail.com. Thank you. And uh, I might see you tomorrow, huh? Holy Wednesday. All right? Bye.